Susan! I'm so sorry! My deepest condolences! Yes, um... Thank you, uh... Marcus! Yes, Marcus, thank you so much for coming. We're all gonna miss him terribly. Yes, it was a great loss. We're all gonna miss him. Yes. You must feel terrible! Well, I don't feel good. In life, there are certain, certain awkward situations. And people. In this situation, there are certain unwritten rules that are expected to be followed. But, in some situ this situation, I feel like you will agree that these rules are okay to break. The Funeral Parlor. By Christopher Duray. It was a terrible shock. Death is always a shock. You're sitting at home doing nothing, and then suddenly, death goes boom! It's somebody both you're dead! Uh-huh. What were his last words? Were they, boo? Boo? No, uh, I don't think he had any last words. Did he make any last noises? Noises? What? Gurgling sorts of noises, or high-pitched screeching ones, like Oh. I don't know, they were lower than that. Don't do that anymore. Oh, Susan, you poor, poor thing. I wouldn't wait in line if I were you. I'm gonna be a while. All alone in this house now. Alone in the kitchen, alone in the dining room, alone in the living room. <sighs> living room. That's a mocking phrase now, isn't it? Alone, alone, alone. All alone. Please don't go on. Yes, but Susan, you have to mourn. To mourn. I always thought it was the Irish that had it right with all their keening. <gasps> Susan, do you want a keen with me? No, thanks. How about we sing a Negro spiritual? Oh, I, I don't. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to take me home. Thank you so much for coming. Don't you want to sing? I don't want to sing. I don't want to keen. I'll cry quietly in my room later. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to tend to the other corners. Susan, you're avoiding the sadness, and I can't let you do that. Please, please let me do that. I've had a terrible day. I have to bury my husband. Is he in there? Thank you Ow. so much for coming. Oh, David. I'm gonna miss him too, you know. What? Well, how nice, or rather how sad. Well, time heals everything, so... You're not the only one with sorrow written on their forehead. What? I should say not. Magic marker doesn't wash off. You know, me and your husband used to exchange morning pleasantries on the train. Like, good morning. Cold enough for you, or even sometimes the train seems to be on time for a change. I see. Did you know that your husband was the only one on that damn train that would ever talk to me? How interesting. All the other people would get up and move away or pretend to be sleeping, but they never fooled me because I'm no joke. Your husband, though, was always very nice to me. Not like my father. Nowadays, he won't even return my phone calls. I even went to his seance and everything. What? Well, he, he's dead. But I have this medium friend who gave me the special number that allows you to call the dead. <gasps> Maybe you'd like it for your husband. Oh, I don't think so. Wow. Well. Thank you so much for coming. Well, you're welcome. I just don't know what I'm going to do without your husband. Why don't you read a book? That's 
an idea. Do you have any suggestions? Oh, any book. I really don't care. My favorite book is Babar the Elephant. That's excellent. Have you read it? No, but I hear wonderful things. Wow. My, my. Thank you so much for coming. Goodbye. Are you leaving? No. No, I want you to leave. You're making me hysterical. Can you get when I say thank you for coming, that's code for go away? Don't you understand that? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Oh. I thought it just meant thank you for coming. I didn't realize I... Is there anything else that... No, nothing. Oh, God. It's just... Well... Now I feel terribly guilty about expressing my emotions. Oh, don't feel guilty about expressing your emotions. That's a good thing to do. You have a terrible loss. Yes, I have. Are you sure you don't want a keen? I'm not Irish. But I'm sure it's a very appropriate thing to do at a wake. Oh, I, I don't know. What does keening sound like exactly? Oh, it's real interesting. It's like this. Again? It's just a startling noise. <laughs> it's just like crying, but more dramatic. I love to cry. You loved your husband, didn't you? Well, yes. Then don't you want to keen just a little? I see your point, but I don't know that I really could. You could do it softer than I did. Oh, I, I don't know. Come on, it will help. This is difficult to do in public. Can I call you over the phone and do it later? No. It is much more healing if you do it at the funeral. You can't do it over the phone. I don't know. Come on, it'll help. <sighs> That's good.